Below the chart is where you will find the terminal window. From there, you can perform a plethora of options and check vital information about your account, with the most important ones being your balance, margin, and open orders. To better understand what these tabs have to offer, I have opened a few orders, but we will demonstrate later in detail how to place these orders. For now, let's focus on the terminal window and the important tabs on it. The Trade tab allows you to check your active and pending orders. The orders displayed above the account status line are the active ones, while the orders below are the pending ones. You can open a new order from here, close an existing order or even modify it by right-clicking on it. Also from here you can attach a trailing stop. We will check all these options in detail later on this video. The History tab allows you to check your past trades when you open them, the volume, the price and of course if you had profit or loss on them. The total profit or loss is being displayed on the bottom. By right-clicking in the panel, you can check specific periods or even generate reports if you wish and save them on your desktop. The Calendar tab is one of the most important parts that you have to check while trading Forex, as it can help less experienced traders understand how markets behave around in time of news releases. Usually, there's a high volatility on the pair or pairs affected by the news. Many professional forex traders will close out their deals a few minutes before a big announcement happens. The alert tab is where you can create and check an alert for specific pairs. To create an alert, right click on the terminal, pick your symbol, the condition, enter the value you wish and click OK. Every time that value is reached, you will get a notification sound. The code base tab allows you to access the published code base at the MQL5 community directly from the client terminal. You can also select your preferred EI indicator or script from here and download it. Right click on it and you will get the option. And then you can attach it to the chart right away. To do that though, you will need to have a registered account on MQL5 and that is a different from the account you will create with a broker. The expert tabs display information about the functioning of the attached EI that you choose to add or any other EI you added prior and includes the opening, closing and modifying positions. The journal tab shows the entire activity you have performed on your account so far. And on the right side you will see the markets tab, which gives you access to a store of free and paid applications where you can get access to trading bots, technical indicators and other products that could potentially help you trade. The signals tab, which is located next to the market icons, allows you to follow signal providers. You can check how much profit they have provided since they started, the number of people following them and by clicking on them you can get more info. Last, by clicking the VPS button you can directly purchase a specialized VPS for MetaTrader 5. There are three more tabs, that of news, mailbox and articles, which are self-explanatory and not as crucial as the ones we checked in depth. Thank you for watching our video on MT5, please like and subscribe. If you want to learn more about the MT5 platform, check our channel for specific videos or watch our full how-to videos that explain in detail how to use and customize your MT5 for both desktop and phone application.